So one shift, I um, finished like 3 o'clock in the morning because uh, there was a night shift meant to be in but um, the supervisor that was there had like whiplash or something, something that happened to her neck. I was, I was meant to, I was, I can't remember what time I started, it was like 2 o'clock or something and they ended up finishing like 3 o'clock in the morning and um, so that happened but the uh, the um, night shift ended up going home because she had um, whiplash. The other last couldn't stay by herself. I couldn't stay all night. So then what happened was I came back in at 10 o'clock in the morning to do their work. So did the other last. The last with the whiplash had a couple of days off, obviously. But then... 3 o'clock in the morning, come back at 10 o'clock in the morning. That's a seven hour break. In between, should I say. In between shifts. So like I made in my last one. My last um, comment. That, motherfuckers, is also illegal. So, uh, yeah. I did that. Seven hour break. Seven hour between shifts, should I say. Meant to have at least ten, but you know, I guess that's another reason why I got sacked. You know, doing all these favors and that, and doing all these you know illegal stuff and that, just to help them out and that. But you know, hmm, shouldn't even be really asking me that though, should you? Shouldn't really be offering me that. I mean, I want the pee. You shouldn't be after me. Especially now, because you're all in trouble, bitches. Don't be treating stuff like shit. Nah, 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 nah. Especially not me. Especially when you've just sacked me. Because <laughs> I'm coming for you, boys. So, another reason why they are cheap is they wouldn't even do a Christmas party. Yes, they wouldn't even pay for their employees to celebrate and have a nice night out, celebrate Christmas. Every, every company does that. Aldi, Poundland, B&Q, Card Factory, Warehouse, One Stop, everything, everywhere does it. Not pound world. Nope. Cheap little bastards. That's why. Not. They're just shit. That's what they are. They're seriously shit. I know it's not a big thing, but after having, you know, working so hard. Yeah, they might pay you and shit, but at least, especially when you're on minimum wage and having to go through all this shit just to make them fucking happy, at least let us have that. Come on now. So this one, I'm not too sure if it's illegal or not, but I'm going to put it in, in the video anyway. On Christmas Eve, which was a Sunday, they closed at 430 um, which to my knowledge is illegal and then when I brought it up to my manager and said isn't that illegal and he his reply was pound world are risking it says it all really doesn't it should they really be risking it to say they're meant to be a professional company? To say that they don't want their name in tatters? But yeah, I think it's all it, it would have been if they didn't sack me.
for my comments because the customer said she'd make it public. But yeah, you've sacked the person who's going to make your company's name in tatters. No one above the supervisors had any balls. The managers, well, they don't have the balls to sack people that don't deserve to be there in the first place. That's just the truth. Um, I've worked in four shops, I believe, and, well, in every single store, there's at least three people who needed to be sacked because they were just worthless to the company. They didn't do the jobs, wouldn't listen to the people above them, and they're just not no good. What's the point when you can get better people in there? But you see, they just don't have the balls to sack them. So yeah. Another thing, while I was working at Power World, a lot of racist jokes were there because I'm coloured, because I'm a quarter Pakistani, because I look like a Muslim, so that makes me a terrorist, this makes me this, this makes me that, this makes me this and that. Um, myself, I see it as banter, I'm, you know, so fair enough, but if it was anybody else, no. Would they see it as banter? No. Do I see myself as a Muslim? No. Because I'm not a Muslim. Do I see myself British? Yes. Do I see myself Pakistani? I'm going to be honest. No, because I don't know my dad. Um, so, my comment to this is, really, even though I'm coloured, shouldn't have people like this at workplace. Do you think it's alright to have racist people working for you? I don't. So this last point is aimed at you. Not Pound World, you, the customers. So there's um, this guy that works at the store, well, the store that I used to work at, and he's got a stutter. And while he's on the tills, I notice some of you customers are laughing because he's got a stutter. Now, that pisses me off. I don't know if you... don't know if he notices himself, but it pisses me off that you guys think it's funny that he can't talk properly. I think it's fucking disgusting. Yet, yeah, us as staff are meant to treat you properly. And if you guys have got something wrong with you, do we laugh at you? No. But yeah, it's alright for you to do it to us. I don't think so. Especially, maybe if they were kids, it'd be different. But you fucking grown adults doing it. I've been stood near him seeing you guys trying to hold your fucking laughter in. I think it's fucking disgusting. You need to grow up. Because it's not funny. It really pisses me off. So I want to say a few more things. Also that's everything from Pound World. With my issues with what they've done to me in the past. But I want to say thank you to my old assistant manager, my manager that still works there now, and the two supervisors. The two supervisors for recommending me to become a supervisor. And one of them even pushed me to become one. Even though I slanked you off earlier on in the video, I still respect you for that. You, you gave me that chance. To the manager, assistant manager, should I say, you, you, I feel like you made me a better work. You pushed me. Even though sometimes we didn't get along, even though sometimes I didn't like you, you pushed me and you made me a better, better employee, that's the right word. 
and the manager just thank you for giving me the opportunity the opportunity to get myself higher and higher I respect all, all foreigners for it and cheers for that and hopefully I'll see you all soon if you've watched it please like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever thank you and see you later and that's the end.